Since everyone is interested in this year MacBook Air M4, this laptop is considered the best one so far. It's strong, it's affordable, so I decided to make a detailed video about it, some functions and the secrets of charging and shutting down. I've always been using the Apple ecosystem for so long, from iPhone, iPad, MacBook, Apple Watch, AirPods, so I think I have some experience with it, not as an expert, but as a user. So if you have any questions about any of those, feel free to drop a comment, I will answer them. I see that many people are confused. Should we charge while using? Or use the battery until 50% then charge? Or only charge to 80%? Ok, so from my experience, here is the simple answer. Keep it plugged in while working if you're doing heavy tasks. Unplug and use the battery sometimes to keep it healthy. Let the battery discharge to about 30 to 60% every few days or weekly. Don't keep it at 100% all the time and never unplug, because that can trust the battery over months. Don't always leave it plugged in 24-7 at 100%, like don't keep it plugged in overnight. Don't let it drop below 5-10% to too often. Don't charge from 0% to 100% every single day. So to summarize, the best combo habit for me is plug in while working long hours, Unplug and use it on battery a few hours every couple of days. Let it drop to 40 to 60 percent, then plug in again. Keep optimized charging on. You know, Apple says your MacBook battery is designed to retain up to 80 percent of its original capacity as 1,000 cycles. So if you're using half a cycle per day, that's about five to six years of healthy usage with the habits you're building. How to turn it off when not using? I saw that many people believe that for MacBook, you can just close the lid and it's done. Shut down is not good, or something like that. But in my experience of using it, you can close the lid only if every activity is already closed, quit, and not connected to any device or Bluetooth. You have to make sure nothing is running anymore. You can check it with command tab to see what is still open. Also, make sure that you don't plug in anything, have spot, USB, SD card, anything at all. You know, I did that before. I left the hub spot there with my SD, then closed the lid. And when I came back, I saw that my batteries dropped from 90% to 20 in just 3 to 4 hours. I don't know how it happened, but still, that is still something for consideration. Just good to be aware. So, a safer option for this is you can still close every activity. No need to eject HubSpot if you are lazy to plug it in again in the next few hours. So you can just put the Mac in sleep mode first, then close the lid. That way it knows that we don't want anything running. And the safest option shut down completely. I do it after my work is done for the day or if I won't use it for a long time to make sure that my Mac is not somehow running. So my bad combo is shut down when you won't use it for 6 plus hours like overnight. Sleep when you are just taking a short break like lunch or 1 to 2 hours. This one is very helpful if you like to split the screen of your many tabs as one. So if you have an iPad, you can connect it at a second screen for a wider look. You can also connect to another screen, but it will need a cable. With iPads, you just need to share screen and vice versa. You can share screen from iPad or iPhone to Mac. And with the MacBook M4, it had iPhone mirroring allowing full access to your iPhone. I really like this one. It's so convenient when my phone is charging somewhere and I can still have full access. All right, so that's it 
for this video. I hope some of these tips help you use your MacBook more efficiently and keep it healthy for the long run. And if you have any questions, just drop them below. I will read and reply to all comments. And if it's what helpful, feel free to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you want more MacBook productivity or creative freelance tips from a real perspective. Subscribe! So, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!